Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today this is probably my biggest video that I've ever made. I'm sure it's going to be the longest by far, but I think it's an interesting topic and I haven't seen too many videos covering it on YouTube. And that of course is every Halo game that we know that has been canceled or just, you know, left in development heck. I get a lot of this information from like Halopedia, Twitter, so I'm snooping around on like ArtStation. So if you ever wanna learn more about any of this stuff, even though I go pretty in depth in this video, check out those places. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. It greatly helps me out in the algorithm on YouTube. And if you enjoy Halo content, go ahead and hit subscribe. I know 90% of you aren't sub to the channel. You probably watch my videos and you're recommended and you're like, I don't need the sub, but it would greatly help me out. I would love to hit 15,000 subscribers before my birthday in October. So it would mean a lot to me. That being said, let's get into the video. We're gonna start off with probably the most well-known canceled Halo game, and that is Halo Online. Now, for those of you who don't know, it was being developed by Saber Interactive and Innova Systems with 343, but it was Russia, you know, platform only. And by 2016, it was basically canceled. Some background information is that it takes place after Halo 3. It's on a secret UNSC installation called Anvil, which if you've played Halo MCC or even Halo Infinite, there's been two seasons in both of those games that have been based around Anvil. And it's basically where Spartans and Sangheili warriors can train and work together in war exercises. It's also a cool place for experimental technology. Now, it seems to me like Halo Online was supposed to, you know, kind of be like the predecessor to what Halo Infinite is. It was supposed to have classic weapons and vehicles. Obviously, maps were gonna return. New maps, of course, and in fact, some of them made it into Halo MCC. Another big point was that it was being optimized for keyboard and mouse. Things like customizing loadouts and abilities. In fact, there were three professions that were planned, including assault, sharpshooter, and tactical, and this basically determined your starting equipment. Now, all of that was happening, it got canceled, but some modders were able to get the game working called El Dorito. It was basically a safe place for the classic Halo experience on the PC platform. Now, unfortunately, they were given a cease and desist, but 343 Industries allegedly remained in contact with them, telling them that they had admiration for the project and it was the kick that they needed to get the Master Chief Collection to start being ported over to the PC platform. Before we get any further into the video, I do want to say that a lot of these games don't have like concept art or gameplay or anything like that. So you're going to see some Halo Infinite, maybe some Halo MCC gameplay in the background to kind of just give something in the background. So you're not just staring at a blank screen, but I will do my best to find as much as I can. Next up, we have Codename Titan. Allegedly, this was a MMORPG developed by Ensemble Studios for about three years between 2004 and 2007. This ultimately led to Ensemble working on the Halo Wars project. Now, this is kind of interesting. There's a lot of like quotes and stuff, a lot of anecdotes being thrown around around this project. It was said that they were doing a ton of evaluations to see how successful this game would be, how much money it would make, how did it go up against its competitors like World of Warcraft. And they said like the, the worst case scenario was that it would make just over a billion dollars. And it's just kind of wild to think that they were like, yeah, let's shelve it. Now, I don't know if it went through, you know, development heck, but apparently it was radically different than uh, the game was supposed to be by the time they were getting to the end. So it was kind of like, you know, what was going on? Again, allegedly it was said that they were canceled due to a shift in leadership within Microsoft and that it just wasn't gonna fit into their plans going forward. Something weird that I read was that it was supposed to be set in the era of the Forerunners, but it was also gonna have like the Covenant and the UNSC, which doesn't really work unless time travel or something. Very weird to me. Something that's more interesting are game jams or hackathons that are done within game developers where they get a few days to work on prototypes of games. It's supposed to be a fun activity for developers where they can experiment with ideas. And 343 was no different when it came to that. Now, a lot of these games and ideas are obviously not gonna be turned into full games. It's more so where they can you know, test things and maybe add it into the main game later on. 
Now, from the hackathons and stories and stuff like that, we've heard anecdotes on like Twitter and stuff that apparently, as of February 2024, there were 20 to 30 Halo games that were pitched, and some of them were like Halo ODST, and there was like a MOBA tower defense type of game, a turn based strategy game mode. There was a Starfighter game, and we're going to talk more about that later. But it's just kind of sad that, uh, you know, there's so many games that were left on the table, or game ideas at least. And I'm sure that's got to be frustrating for people who, you know, work at 343. This next one is very interesting. It is a Halo game that was made for the DS. Now, there were tons of rumors going around in, I believe, 2004 and 2005. But Microsoft kept denying those rumors about there being a handheld Halo game on, like, any console that was handheld, if that makes sense. But somebody from IGN said that they had played a version of Halo for the DS. He recorded footage of that game and caused a huge amount of controversy. Now, members from Bungie actually came out and said it's likely that somebody at some point in time created a prototype and tried to pitch it, which is probably what they are talking about. But there's never been an officially funded or sanctioned development of any sort of DS Halo game. Strange. The IGN person actually doubled down and said that it was made by a AAA publisher, but never revealed the source of that. But man, that would have been kind of weird. In fact, let me know in the comments down below if you would have been excited to play Halo on like your Nintendo DS. Next up, we have a canceled Certain Affinity Halo game now. This is not the same game that Certain Affinity is said to be working on right now. This was a long time ago, around 2007 to 2009. And it was said that they were working with 343 about doing a digital download type of game. And they said that they had a ton of ideas and then they locked in on one and started like working on it. But then Halo Waypoint came along and that became a major priority, which is kind of weird to me. So they never got a contract or anything and nothing ever really got off the ground. And I would say that this was more of a pie in the sky type of thing. Definitely nothing concrete. There was also a canceled Halo project in 2011, but honestly, there's like nothing really known about this game. It basically all comes from portfolio uploads by an artist. So we don't really have a lot to go off of. Apparently the artist worked on the project for over two months, building out these different uh, environments, but it said that the project was canceled and for unknown reasons. Some people speculate that this was actually a part of the development for Halo 4, mainly because it was around the same time that Halo 4 was undergoing production. Some of the assets seem kind of the same. So who really knows? This next one is probably one of my greatest what ifs for the Halo franchise, and that is Halo Chronicles. This one is also pretty well known around the Halo community, but if you've never heard of it, it involves Peter Jackson of Lord of the Rings fame. Now, it's said that the game was in development since 2006, but it was ultimately canceled in 2009. But it kind of sounds like it was more like a ODST or a Halo Reach game where they said they wanted to take the player on an emotional journey. They wanted you to be the bullet. Now, eventually when the game was canceled, the team that was there working with Peter Jackson went back to Bungie and worked on Halo 3 ODST instead. So it kind of got canceled, kind of turned into a new project. This would have been like Elden Ring with George R.R. R. Martin before Elden Ring. There are some aspects to the story that were released. You were supposed to be a miner who was captured, not like that Drake, a miner who had been captured by the Covenant and subjected to their religious slavery until they found the technology that would, you know, set them free. There's a lot of crazy like gameplay features, including like melee attacks and having like different combat modes and double jumps a lot of crazy things that uh weren't really there i think for a halo game before this so around the same time peter jackson was also negotiating a halo film and once that fell through the game ultimately got canceled i get it i'm sure most of you know that uh the story for that halo film kind of turned into district 9 it is what it is it makes me sad if you didn't know, Isaac Hannaford, who is like an insanely talented concept artist, actually had some uh, starships that were used as concept art. Very cool. Man, there are a lot of canceled Halo games. When I wrote this script out, I didn't really realize like how long this video was going to be, so I apologize. But we're powering through. Next up, we have Hagger. 
I think that's how you say it, at least. seen it and apparently even then it would have been without their knowledge schmidt also worked on starfighter which is what we're going to talk about next allegedly which i feel like i have to say a lot for most of these games halo starfighter was one of the internal pitches from 343 industries that was during the same time frame as halo infinite this came out of one of those hackathons apparently and it was supposed to take you behind that saber space fighter from halo reach and just make it a full game. There's concept art, it looks very cool. I don't know if this would have been super, you know, successful and popular. I feel like flight games like that, like Ace Combat or even that Jedi, or not Jedi, Starfighter, Star Wars Starfighter game, very niche things. It's cool when there's like a mission in a campaign where you're flying around, but an entire game based around it. I don't know. Definitely probably not a full price game. Maybe if it was like 30 bucks or something. These next two kind of go hand in hand. It's basically a Halo Wars sequel cut content thing in Halo Wars 3. They're both listed separately everywhere I look. So we're going to talk about both of them. Apparently there was supposed to be like DLC added to the first Halo Wars game. Now, if you didn't know, Ensemble actually made the first Halo Wars and then Creative Assembly worked on Halo Wars 2. So don't get that confused, but Ensemble wanted to make a Covenant campaign expansion. That never happened, obviously. It would follow, like, the Chieftain returning the High Charity. Basically, the Arbiter cutscene. There's an uprising, blah, 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 blah. And then a second idea would have been Brutes fighting the Flood on a Forerunner mining world. Very cool. Halo Wars 3! Allegedly, that's my favorite word. Halo Wars 3 was pitched in 2017. Halo Wars 3 was basically leaked, revealed in 2017 through concept art. Obviously, it was rejected. It has not happened yet. Maybe it'll happen in the future. But some of the concept art showed like space battles. That would have been extremely cool. And since February 2021, 343 says that there are no plans to make a sequel to Halo Wars 2. It would have been sick, though. I, I think that the space battles would have been very cool. All right, this last one's kind of a freebie. It's the Halo movie. We kind of talked about it with uh, Peter Jackson's Halo Chronicles earlier in the video. But yeah, we were supposed to have a Halo movie by Neil Blomkamp himself. It would have followed an ODST going through training exercises Getting ready to go fight would have been very brutal from what I can tell. A lot of this stuff looks like it was used in the Halo ODST commercial. So I think the proof of concept is definitely there. There's also another like um, live action piece of media that was done that I think also corresponds to this. But that's going to do it for the video. That's pretty much all I could find. The thing is, is that there are probably so many other things, like maybe Halo books, just a ton of things that we'll never know about unless somebody like kind of comes forward. There's probably NDAs involved. Let me know in the comments down below which one you would have liked to have seen been made the most. 
Honestly, I would have probably never played the Mega Bloks game, but I think that I would have rather seen that one the most because I think that it would have been super popular. But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down below in the comments if you know of any other games that were canceled or other pieces of media. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!